no matter how big a critic you are of the Watchtower organization and the governing body, you would make a mistake if you underestimate these men. Whether we like it or not, whether you like it or not, the Watchtower organization is relatively well run. These men have been able to achieve a lot overseeing this multi-million dollar, possibly multi-billion dollar real estate corporation and publishing house parading as a religion. They have a pretty organized structure and are pretty impressive in a number of areas. And as I said, they have been able to achieve a lot. They have an effective marketing campaign that sees their organization growing as weird as the things that they teach are. Yes, the growth has slowed. As a matter of fact, it would not surprise me. In fact, I believe that they are in decline. The organization puts out their statistics and I've seen those statistics analyzed online. I have no way of knowing that these stats are genuine and the organization has lied so much that I do not feel confident in trusting the numbers. But whether or not I want to believe the numbers, no one can deny that the organization has grown over the years. So, you could never accuse the men who run this organization of being idiots. I call them biblical nitwits because they certainly fit that category. When it comes on to the Bible, their, 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 their reasoning is so nonsensical, but that makes sense because the Holy Spirit is not with them and they are really not a religious organization. They pretend to be, or they may register themselves are, but the, the, the leaders are certainly not spiritually deep men. So it, 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 it takes nothing for people who are otherwise smart to be biblical nitwits as the governing body are, the men on the governing body are. So that said, it would be a mistake on your part to underestimate them and think that they do not know what they are doing. As I said in the previous video, they have managed very well in terms of the secrecy, the Anthony Morris saga, so much so that not even the XJW community that has in the past shown the ability to get information leaked from this organization, not so with Anthony Morris, tight. The members don't know what's going on. The XJW community doesn't know what's going on. An activist like myself who is not associated with the organization, even more so, do not know what is going on. But there's a question that one has to wonder. If these men really know what they are doing with this matter. They are the ones who have intimate knowledge of what is going on. They are the ones who are in the know. So they must have their reasons for doing things the way they're doing it. But they have, they're in a bit of a pickle. Because the less they say, is the more they reveal. They have confirmed to me and it is now very firmly confirmed that there is animosity going on there. They have confirmed that without saying a word. They have confirmed it by removing, by no removing Anthony Morris videos from the, from, I was going to say channel, I'm used to YouTube channel, from their website. They are revealing much. And I don't know, I, I cannot see how something like this can have a good ending, a good destination. That you have someone who is a member of the highest 
office in the organization, the highest body, the governing body, someone who is held in high esteem, who all of a sudden is being treated with the worst, I was going to say scant regard, but scant doesn't cut it. It is much worse than scant regard. The man is being disrespected and they are throwing, they are heaping disrespect upon disrespect on a human being. How much more of it will he take before hitting back? And as I asked in the previous video, is it that the situation is so bad and he knows that he's so guilty that he dares not open his mouth? Because he is the one who is in very serious trouble. You remove the videos. You remove him from the governing body. You say absolutely nothing to Jehovah's Witnesses, which chances are headquarters staff do not know what is going on. Is this a tenable situation? Is this sustainable? One thing that the governing body has certainly achieved is that they have pulled a lot of attention to the organization. People are now watching it. Sorry, my apologies for that. Yes, I'm making the point that they have pulled attention to themselves and to the organization because right now everybody is looking out, listening, because something is going to break. The dam is going to break. Truth is like a mighty river. If you try to stop it with the dam, it will overflow the dam. Nobody can stop the truth. And there, there is, everybody now knows that something is on the horizon. So... As smart as the governing body may be, as well as they think that they are managing this matter, it does not appear to me that this is sustainable and that they will be able to avoid what is to come. This is an organization in trouble. This is an organization in decline. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have yourselves a wonderful day. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mm -hmm.